Alrighty, time for some audio. Now, there's two things that you need to have with your audio. One is some background music. Um, it's really boring just to have people talking, much like this. Uh, if you click on the little music, you will find that there are a ton of iLife sound effects right here. Those sound effects, if you go to jingles, are where the music is. Now, if you need something, for example, like a bell tower, or something else that's a Foley cash register. Anybody? Right. Um, there's a whole bunch of things in there too, but generally we're just going for the jingles. So let's say we want, what's this? We're gonna have a very funky tax all message here. Make the music match what you want. Drag it up, put it at the beginning. Now don't put it so that it covers the whole background. It makes it really difficult to work with. Um, instead, just click it in and let it run under here. Now when we play it, okay, you'll see we have some audio. Now, I grabbed the medium one. We should probably actually grab the long one. So I'm going to click on that, hit the delete key, and away it goes. Uh, and I'm grabbing long because uh, we want it to run in the background for most of the whole thing. It's a little bit longer. If I want to be consistent with my music, which you should be, I wouldn't suggest more than maybe two types if you need a different thing for part of your message. Um, we're just going to grab another one. Oops. Where did it go? Here we go. Um, drag it up and put it up right up against the other one. You can move them around. There's your audio. And maybe I only need the little one at the end. Short. Uh, okay. Um, so that gives us that audio. Now the other audio that you need is a voiceover. Okay. In order to do a voiceover, you're going to click on the lovely styling microphone. Ta-da! Record a voiceover. If you click on that, it gives you this little screen here. You make sure that your input volume is loud enough. This would be loud enough. And this would be too loud. Yeah, if you get red, that's a problem. Um, so just make sure that if your input isn't too loud and not too soft, this will be according to how close you are to your uh, computer, uh, its level of function and all that sort of thing. So it should be pretty straightforward. Go with the built-in input um, with your laptop, it'll be fine. Okay. Don't play your project while au the audio is recording. We need to keep your voice in a totally separate track from any other noise, which also means while you're recording, be somewhere quiet, preferably someplace without an echo. Kitchens are bad, um, bedrooms are good, closets are good. Uh, any place you can keep the family, dog, siblings, parents, cell phones, TV noises, etc. from happening, you're better off. Okay, so for now, I'm good, and I want to start my audio here. So move your cursor to where you want the audio to start, and then click. And now we're recording audio, and I get to talk about Taxol, which is a molecule that I'm not entirely sure what it does. I think it has something to do with cancer prevention or cure. So you get to have an audio track much like this one. You can do it in sections. So I'm done now. I'm going to be done. I just hit the space bar and you can see my voiceover recording right here. Now let's say I wanted to add another voiceover recording. Maybe I have a little break and I wanted to add another piece right here. Oops. Go back to here. I can click in again. I'll have to click on the clip. On the clip. You can see I have a little microphone with my cursor. And now we're recording the second part of the voiceover, which we talk about Taxol and how awesome it is and what the pieces are in the molecule and why we're zooming in in the animation and making it completely relevant to all the visuals that we have and to make an excellent point about its importance as a molecule. Okay, so there's another one.
Now, when we're done, you can close that. Now, here's the key, right? If I just play this... Talk about taxol, which is a molecule that I'm not entirely sure... It's okay in that the, the voiceover is louder than the music. That happens, happens automatically. But, because um, we transition from this... And now... We're See how it gets softer? But it doesn't get necessarily soft enough. So let's show you how this works. If you go to your voiceover and click audio adjustments, the, it's called ducking when the other tracks get reduced so that the vocal track uh, or spoken track is louder. And it's the default is 15%. It tends to work a little bit better if you maybe bring it down to 8 or 10% because then it's just a little bit quieter and frequently people talk too fast, don't articulate well enough, their voices are really soft, it's really hard to hear over the music. So bring that down just a smidge. And if you want a longer fade in or fade out, you can do that with a manual fade in and fade out if you want to. It's up to you. Um, the rest of this is generally just fine. If you do need to bring up the volume of your spoken track, this is the place to do it. Again, there's your default. If you feel like it needs to be a little bit louder because your voice wasn't quite as loud as you wanted it to be, you can do that too. Okay, now let's see what we get. And now we're recording audio and I get to talk about Taxol, which is a molecule that i So you can see how the music in the background is just a smidge softer than it was before, and that makes it much easier to hear the voice. You are going to want to do that to all of your voiceover pieces. Okay, audio adjustments, ducking down just a smidge, and if you need to, bring that up. I probably don't, but there you go. Oh, and if you want a longer fade in, fade out, that's entirely up to you. Done! Yay! Okay. Um, my other suggestion is that you are going to need credits. Uh, you can have the scrolling credits. You can do a series of other kinds of credits. Um, these are always fun. And maybe we'll put it over black because we're ending. Um, so... So we're going to need some of that. So. Ta-da! Now, you see the music ends really abruptly. I can go back here and drag out some more music, and I can go here and fade that out with my audio adjustments with a manual fade out so I have a longer period. And I will probably want to have credits that include Uh, where I got my material. So you don't necessarily have stars here, but you may have a bit of a bibliography, which you'll probably have to type up anyway. Where'd you get your images from? What are the websites? If you just stick long websites up here, that's really kind of boring. So make sure you type those up um, to give credit where you got the information and, and uh, material from, particularly the animations and whatnot. Um, yeah, so... That pretty much does the whole thing. Again, don't forget to have your audio go all the way to the end here. Oh, and if you need more, then add some. Um, but those are the basics. I hope that helped. Good luck.